I heard those shots come off. And uh, they seemed like they was high, and uh, they were directly ahead of me. And uh, as I, I tried to figure out which where they came from, and the building that I had in mind was directly ahead of me, and that was the Texas Book Depository Building. As I entered the building there, I asked uh, some of the people that were standing around there where, where the stairs or elevator was. And uh, there was a man who spoke up and said uh, he was the building manager and he'd show me. I realized that he didn't know the layout of the building, so I ran in with him. It was just a matter of seconds after the third shot. And we ran across the shipping room floor, stopped at the elevators. And uh, we couldn't get that service elevator working. And uh, he said, well, we use the stairs. And he turned around and immediately went up the stairs. We ran on up the first flight to the second floor. And the officer looked in the snack bar adjacent to our office. And I, I, I kind of looked off to the right over there through a doorway and saw an image of a man walking away through that doorway. Uh, and when I got to the doorway, he was on down there a little bit, and I hollered at him and asked him to come back. The officer with me had a gun in his hand, and uh, he threw the gun uh, toward the uh, middle of Oswald, and he looked probably a little startled like anybody else would if you just put a gun in the stomach all at once, which I thought was natural. But uh, I turned around and asked him if the man worked for him, and if he knew him. And he said, yes, said, he works for me, and I, I know him. And uh, at that time, uh, the man never did say anything. I never did say anything further to him. Uh, I turned around and went on up the stairs to the third floor. And this man that you saw later turned out to be Lee Harvey Oswald. Yes, sir, he did. Officer Baker, as you uh, think back now to November 22nd, would you uh, hazard a guess as to uh, the time you heard these shots and the time it took you to get into the building and go up the stairs and the time when you first saw Lee Harvey Oswald? I believe, <clears throat> excuse me, from the time that I heard those shots and time I ran into that building, entered the lobby and uh, made it up to the second floor, it was approximately a minute and a half to two minutes. And uh, that would be pretty close to it. In your testimony before the Warren Commission, uh, was this reenacted, uh, this timing? Yes, sir. It was. Did you tell me how you did it? Well, we went back to the uh, same day that we figured what, what I did that particular day and we tried to get to the spot where I thought I first heard the shots. And from there, we took it and we did everything, reenacted re the whole situation there, the ent entrance into the building and uh, the talk we had between the building manager and myself. And then we went on back through the building and we tried to get the service elevator down. and. Uh, we then went on up the stairs, and that, uh, I believe, somewhere around a minute and a half was uh, our timing on it. As you recall it, does that seem like a reasonable uh, length of time for him to have been able to do those things? Uh, he could have done it if he'd have been awful fast or if he'd have pre-planned it right away. But the, the uh, ceilings are low on uh, each floor and the, sh and the stairways do not have too many steps on them. 